Hello there and welcome back. This is going to be an off-topic video because this week I was challenged by some friends of mine to take a typewriter challenge which is as you can see on this page a very simple challenge. It goes like you enter the typing race, you wait for the guests and <clears throat> after the countdown is finished you can go type your type your words <coughs> in the suburbs in the and so on and after you are done with this uh, race you can see your words per minute and the higher the better and I'm not so good at typing fast and uh, not so good at typing precisely either and I love scripting so I thought I would make a video about how I wrote the script which can win me this race anytime and uh, in this video I'm going to explain how I got to this uh, solution and uh, why Python is simply again the best programming language you can choose to learn at first so what we need here is that uh, we need to collect the elements that we are going to need. So we will inspect this page and go to this element, right click, copy and copy the CSS selector. This is going to help us navigate on this page because we want to send a click event here. After this we are going to need to read the text we will have to write that's in this text box we should also have to copy the CSS selector so we know which uh, items text we need to type with the script and we will also need the CSS selector <coughs> for this item which is the text box where we can input our uh, text as we need to after the countdown is done and the race starts. So basically that's all and uh, let me show you how I have achieved this. So in order to navigate in the world of internet with Python, uh, how do I get this right? What we need to do is <coughs> The first and most important thing is that we import the time module. So, typewriter, typewriter challenge. After this, we will import from the Selenium module the web driver and also from the selenium module we will import not exactly the selenium but the web driver that support the UI we will import the web driver wait <coughs> what we need is a specified driver. This is just the name of the variable but this will be basically the driver which we will use to talk to a browser and uh, this driver needs to be located on your path. You can download the Chrome driver, the Gecko driver and many other drivers for this Selenium module. I have downloaded the Chrome, put it on my desktop and if I say that <coughs> I want a driver from the Chrome browser to help me navigate on the web, then this is how I do it. So I've got the driver. What I need now is for the driver to go and get the HTTP the play that type racer.com forward slash. This will load the page. <coughs> And in order for me to start the game, 
as you may recall, I need to load, uh, click on that uh, button. So I will pass the web driver wait function the name of the driver and the seconds I want to wait before an exception is raised. And until the lambda driver is the lambda function for the driver that find elements by CSS selector and I have already done my homework and copied out the CSS selector for this so I will just go and paste it <clears throat> and uh, what it does is it tells my driver to try to get the page and wait 10 seconds or until the element specified the HTML uh, CSS selector appears. Uh, if after 10 seconds no such element is displayed on the HTML page then an error is raised which is the element not found exception. But <coughs> if we found this element, then we should be able to start the game. Let's see. Let me save it. The CMD desktop typewriter Python typewriter challenge. <coughs> So, as you can see, it says that I am being controlled by an automated test so software and there you go, it let me through the first click. So, it seems like something I'm doing is right. <laughs> and uh, <coughs> at the very end, you should not forget to quit the driver, which means that the browser should be closed. It, it was interesting because I was testing this on my MacBook Pro and uh, it, uh, it was missing this last line and after an hour or so I noticed that at least 30 instances of Firefox were running and for some reason the machine was getting slower and slower. So. Basically, it was a lesson learned. Text box equals web driver. Wait, driver then, and until the lambda of the driver is the driver that find element by CSS selector, and let me copy my other one too. <clears throat> so what I need to do is give it a test run again so I should see that my text box content is uh, correct if I have chosen the right uh, CSS selector this is just to make sure that I am copying the right contents. So, basically, yeah, this is fine. And the last thing I need to do is find the input box, which is going to be equal to the web driver, weight driver 15, or until lambda driver driver at find element and here we are going to use an x pass <coughs> so yeah and uh, what I 
the idea is that uh, the countdown starts from 10 and you lose around 3 to 4 seconds by the time those elements load. So I have set a time sleep for 15 seconds. And I will go that I want to go over the text box text that split. And I want to send the keys as a string to the text box, text, that split, and the ice element. And I say that if not, I equals lan text box text. Split the input box that send is in space because this way <coughs> the text box uh, content which we need to type is uh, divided by spaces. And if we are not at the end of the text array, then we should insert a space in between the words we type, otherwise we need to stop typing because that will get our timing correct. So let's say I want a half second delay between these and let's see how this fares. Two, one, go! And as you can see, the sleeping of 15 seconds is not, uh, let's say, brightest idea in this case. And something else must be also wrong. <coughs> let's debug it. Input box and say sending okay. I have made a mistake in the find element, but basically this should just work now. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, go. So, <coughs> as you can see the selenium script is doing its thingy it is typing a word every half minute so I'm not sure it has kind of a good speed and it will not make any mistake as you can see, it, it has won me the first place. Cool. And uh, let's make it type faster.
I want to see. <coughs> I have increased its speed tenfold, so we should see the green birds appearing much faster now. You, you could also fine tune it based on the weight you can uh, do before the final countdown ends. But yeah, as you can see, it can pretty much beat any normal human being with a with an average word per minute. <laughs> yeah, I think this round was won by the script too. Congrats, you just tried 116 words per minute. Alright, guys and ladies, this is what I wanted to show you. I'm going to upload the source code on GitHub. And uh, if you like this video and you want more videos like this, leave a like, comment and subscribe. Thank you for watching.